Hey guys, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again for our part two. I hope everybody's doing blessed on this terrific Thursday. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I hope the same thing for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and light to you and many blessings are yet to come. And if you can, can you please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell when you know I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video at the end, please give me a thumbs up and even be so kind to drop me a positive positive line or two. I love positive feedback. And if you are returning sub, as always, love and light and many blessings are yet for you. And much love and thanks for the support, as always. And namaste and love and light. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Be your own walking trademark. Leave your imprint on the world. God, there's so many people. I Like, I seen this post this morning that this pastor had put up. And, I mean, it really, you know, it really shook me this morning. But it wasn't no bad shape. Oh, before I get into it, I'm listening to this Asian reggae. I ain't never heard no Asian, but I'm Asian reggae. And I'm loving this. I'm going to put this in the link down below. Y'all got me all. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm just like really bobbing, you know, because that first video almost drained me, guys, but I had to jump back up because it was just like I can't go to good to bad and then bad from good. So I had to release that one first and then come out with this one. But I'm really loving this. So I'm going to put this link down below and y'all maybe enjoy it too. It's like, uh, it's three hours, you know, full of, you know, this, this beat. And I'm just like, oh, snap nizzle sticks like marley uh december said i love that word girl you got me to use that word now but anyways there there was this post that i saw on facebook this morning about you know how there there can be there are so many people that are bored you know their true talent just because you know two or three people weren't excited about that for you and you have to understand if if there's people that are don't have the courage to step out of that darkness and do with their your, you know your purpose your true purpose in life you know don't let that hinder you because there's a lot of people they're not going to be bold and comfortable enough because that's one thing that us humans we fought at a lot we don't step out because we're worrying about what people think and what people say and what people do you need to not do that you make your imprint on the world you make your you make your your voice count make it matter don't sit up here and wait for something to happen for you because it's not going to happen. You know, the universe ain't going to hand you nothing and say, please, sir, uh, can I have another? No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. You have to go out there and you got to work your ace off for it, okay? You got to work it off, okay? And you do what you need to do. But you make your opinion matter. You make that imprint on life because you never know. You could be... You could be the next Martin Luther King. You could be the next JFK. You never know. You know, you don't know what you could do. You know, it's just like, you know, we wouldn't have Google or Amazon if these folks didn't step out and do what they do. I mean, I wish I could have went back in time and said, hey, I want to come out with Google. You know, I could have been sitting down drinking a mimosa right about now. I wouldn't have to worry about all this stuff that's going on. But if it wasn't for them, they wouldn't have paved the path for us to be able to do the things that we do. Because it's, it's just like if people didn't make computers, you know, we wouldn't be able to get on the Internet if we weren't able to, you know, Sorry, my son just sit up here and text me, but it's okay. Uh, when, you, when you're able to do things like that, you never know what you can pay the path for yourself, your children, your children's children. You never know what you're able to do unless you step out. Don't sit up here and worry about, you know, you might tell your friend or you might tell a spouse or you might tell a family member, hey, I want to do this and this and that. And they might laugh at you. They, you never know. They, in that inner side, like, damn, I wish I could have thought about that. Excuse my language, but dad, you know, I wish I could have thought about that. And they're going to downplay it. Don't do that. You go out there. You know, like I tell my children, you know, there's some people that will sit up here and they will downplay their kids like, oh, you can't do that. I never tell my children, you know, as long as it's not nothing to hurt themselves or anybody else. I say, you, you can be anything you want to be. You just got to apply yourself. You know, I never downgrade them because, you know, my family did that to me. So I would never do my children like that. I said, you know, my, my daughter wants to be a photographer. I love it. You know, if I can help supply her with, you know, her own photography, you know, building, I would do that for her. You know, I got one, you know, another child 
that she sings and she dances and she wants to be a fashion designer. I'm all on for it. I'm like, baby, I'm a bore. You know, she even sends me videos where her singing it, it just brings me tears, brings tears to my eyes. Cause she reminds me so much of me when I was little, even though that little heifer worked my nerves. You know, that is my baby, all of my babies. And then I got another one that's a hairdresser. You know, and she's been doing hair since she's like 11, 12 years old. And she got that for me too. Except I wasn't going that far is doing it 11, 12. I used to think about it and then, you know, it would be bad because I used to get my hair done and I would sit up here and watch the beauticians and they would purposely have to turn me around because they said, uh-uh, we don't see too many times when you have, I've did something to your hair and you turn around and you have rigged it yourself just because you watched me. So I can't have you doing that. You're going to send my clientele. You can't do that. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's just anytime you, you, you need to make your own walk, you know, I got to be my own walking trademark. You know, because it's just like I say, I make these videos, these motivational videos. And it's not like, hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. It's not about that. It's just the fact is it's helped me heal. And there are so many people, are, they got a lot in common with me. That, you know, they have had emotional downfall. They have been through so many different abuses. And it's just like I tell you, don't, don't be a billboard for self-pity. You don't want to do that. You don't want to feel bad for yourself. Because there are so many people that, you know, have been raped and have been abused and they they're activists for that now you know and it, it's just messed up where you have to go through something so traumatic to where you have to have a voice for yourself and let it be heard okay let it be heard so don't stop what you're doing you know like i go to different youtube channels and guys uh, you know yesterday was like hectic for me because i had to work yesterday last night so um i will be stopping by and showing my love today so don't think i forgot about you because i've been i've been to miss linda's channel i've been to tosh time yeah what i've been to you boo and i've been to um justice Hembricks. and you know i went to um tommy and steve steve uh stevie jobs and um i gotta go to uh i know i gotta go avaro i gotta go go to baby boy and gotta hit him up and there's so many people i gotta go back out and just go check on to see if everybody's okay and i even got with my jew my jewish friend um down down the road in georgia you know and i hit him up and said gave my love for him because he was going through some stuff too you know an incident had happened and had to show my love for him and you know i just i just try to go out and try to reach everybody as i possibly can because it's like you know guys forgive me if i'm not there every day because you know we got lives passed here so don't think I, you know, I haven't forgot about you, you know, and even mother of four, I even hit her up, you know, because that woman knows she be doing some stuff with them babies, boy, you know, <laughs> I got to be hitting her up too, because she be making me hungry sometimes, so I got to watch her videos after I eat, you and I, you know, because after I, I got to make sure I'm very well full before I hit y'all food channels and stuff like that up, because y'all be making me hungry, so... But I just love all the different channels I'm connected to. Even the one from Japan and New Zealand. I love you guys too. And it's just, you know, we're making a way for everybody. And you're making a way. You never know what you're doing to inspire somebody else. And that's all I'm saying. So you keep on. You make that imprint in, in the world. You make your, be your own walking trademark. And you never know what, what things that you might inspire somebody to do. You know, you might have somebody that have that courage. But if, if somebody, like I said in videos before and time and time again, if somebody can't see their dream, your dream for themselves, baby, they ain't going to see it for you. They will downplay that mess in a minute just because the fact is they don't want to see you ascend to go anywhere. That's why, you know, there's certain things that, I, like I tell you guys, there's certain things I can talk about and some things I won't. Because some people will ask me certain questions just so they can pray on it to make sure it don't happen. So I don't do that. But I'll let you know, you know, how I'm getting there. What I'm, you know, how I'm getting there. I'm not going to let the left hand know what the right hand doing. But if it's to help somebody else, you know, through a grieving period or you trying to let go of some, some things that's been hindering you, I have no problem with helping that. But, you know, all the other stuff, there's certain things you, you can't put out there. Because people will mess you up or try to steal your joy or try to steal your idea. But it, it's just like you never know what you can be able to you know, influence on somebody else. As long as it's positive, influence the life. But I'm not going to hold you guys up. I hope everybody's having a blessed, prosperous day. And I'm going to keep you guys in my prayers. And I hope you do the same for me. And like I said, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Y'all got me all up in my spirit and felt like I had to preach today. So, I hope everybody is doing good. And is going towards the weekend. Thank you, Jesus. 
It's been a long week. And you know, like and subscribe, even hit that bell. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.